Does entrepreneurial success boil down to skill? What are the core skills to being an entrepreneur? Having studied now entrepreneurship and successful entrepreneurs, unsuccessful entrepreneurs, the, there are these five skills that um, really distinguish your ability to perform. Um, and perform in such a way that you get a lot of people that dedicate their lives to helping you fulfill your vision. And one is this self-awareness because self-awareness is essential for understanding what you're capable of doing and therefore when and how you need to ask for help. Uh, so without self-awareness, uh, you're not very good at uh, seeking out help and knowing when you need it. The relationship building is, is ultimately, uh, as we've touched on, creating the bonds with these people that are going to dedicate you know, their lives and, uh, and making it in such a way that, it's going, that they are going to feel fulfilled by helping you achieve your vision. And then motivating others is uh, when, so, Relationship building is, is a pretty intense uh, skill to practice. And, and effectively, you can only do it with a handful or two of people. So you, you, you have these very uh, dynamic, hypercharged relationships with your team, you know, your core team. And beyond that, though, you still have to get people to want to dedicate their lives to do that. And that's a different skill, which is, I call and others call motivating others. And so understanding how to touch people, large numbers of people, and uh, in, in an emotionally impactful way that they feel a sense of well-being in, in working for you or being around you, uh, that's uh, also an important skill to have. The fourth one is leading change, and that's so essential in a startup, because why? Startups need to change every, every week or every month because um, they're, they're growing, they're learning from their customers, they are responding to market conditions and the like, and, and yet, People are resistant to change. They're resistant to change for good reason. Hey, it's, it's risky. You know, why can't I continue to do what has been successful for me, even if it's a, a routine, repetitive thing? Why, why do I have to change? And so that's a set of skills uh, leading change that is essential for all you know, entrepreneurs that aspire to um, grow their companies. And then this fifth one, which is enterprise basics, is understanding that um, um, your company is going to grow and mature and in a certain fashion. You want to build on a solid foundation or you, know, you want your tree to establish its roots before it gets too tall because otherwise it could topple over. So how you deliver your leadership actually needs to change at certain critical junctions and, and so, so, so many entrepreneurs um, get uh, perplexed by the fact that what they were doing which was creating major success uh, you know last week and la for the last couple of months all of a sudden is getting everybody really frustrated and morales going down and they and they have missed this critical transition point in their business. They don't understand that there was this. So just by having some basic understanding of where these transitions happen and what, you, what the enterprise and your people are needing from you as a leader now is different than it was you know, a couple of weeks ago is incredibly powerful. And none of these five skills require you to be born with any special trait. You know, it's not like Superman uh, or, or whatever. Uh, ultimately, just knowing them and then being able to practice them a little bit will, will make you very effective.